you for no matter it. Lay out your arms. Show you where to find three different ancient somber dragon smithing stones or whatever they're called so you can get somber weapons or what are named weapons up to level three so that would be these the somber ancient dragon smithing stones for 14 special armor for plus 10. Okay, i know three locations they're all going to be super end game uh two of them are accessed with a secret area using the secret halagree tree or medallion whatever it's called and then another one is at crumbling ferrum or whatever the place is called like the very end game place so let me go ahead and show you where I'm going to talk about. So one of them is going to be over here at the endgame place after defeating the fire giant. And then there are two that could be accessed from the Grand Lift of Roll, getting the secret medallion to go to Halig Tree. And one will let you go to Halig Tree, one will let you go to the Mox place. If you want earlier, uh, there's an early way to get over to the Mo uh, Dynasty Mausoleum, which I've covered in a different video. Which is after defeating Godrin and getting your first rune, you can go to the first step again, and the guy over there will tell you to go to the round table thing. You go there, talk to the lady who's all hunched over on, like, sitting on a table, and who's presumably turning your remembrances for items. Talk to her, and then leave and come back, and this guy will be gone, and then you go to a church. He's over here, and he's over here now. You talk to him, you get a quest, and you invade other people's worlds three times, and talk to him again. You get a cloth, go to the four belfries, go to the third one up. Uh, first one, fourth one, up, get, get a key, then go to the third one up, go through a portal, go to the beginning of the game, beat a boss here, go to the top of the place, go to the chapel right here, soak the cloth in a dead person's blood, then go back to this guy, turn it in, talk to him, he'll give you a bloody finger, then talk to him again, he'll give you a medallion, and then you'll go to your inventory and you'll use the uh, Pure Blood Knight's Medal, and that will take you over to Mog's place. So that's how you get their early game, if you want one of these early game for some reason. But generally, you're meant to get these late games. So uh, I'm going to show you where to get them. The first one is I'm going to show you is at Dynasty Mausoleum. You're going to want to go to Dynasty Mausoleum Midpoint. It's after going through the cave and stuff. And uh, it's right nearby to this one. All right, so from this grace, we're going to head south up here. And there are all these guys worshiping this statue. And normally, you would kill them and then loot it. But it's literally just going to be right in front of them in this chest. I've already grabbed it from the chest, but that is where it would be if you want the first one. For the next somber ancient dragon smithing stone, you're going to want to go to the uh, Ferrum place, whatever it's crumbling Ferrum. You're going to go to the Dragon Temple Rooftop Grace, assuming you have this already. If not, you'll have to get to this point in the game. You'll come into here, and you're going to drop down to the east, and do your best to ignore the birds, I guess, or kill them. Whatever, whatever way you want to do it. You just got to get over the dragon. And talk to him, he'll give you a bloody finger, and then talk to him again, he'll give you a medallion. And then you'll go to your inventory and you'll use the uh, Pure Blood Knight's Medal, and that will take you over to Mog Place. So that's how you get there early game if you want one of these. He's early. And go back, go to a church, he's over here. And he's over here now. You talk to him, you get a quest, and you invade other people's worlds three times. You talk to him again, you get a cloth, go to the four belfries, go to the third one up. Uh, first one, fourth one up, get a, get a key, then go to the third one up, go through a portal. Go to the beginning of the game, beat a boss here, go to the top of the place, go to the chapel right here. Soak the cloth in a dead person's blood. Then go back to this guy, turn it in, talk to him, he'll give you a bloody finger. Then talk to him again, he'll give you a medallion. And then you'll go to your inventory and you'll use the... Uh, your Blood Knight's Medal, and that will take you over to Mog Place. So that's how you get their early game if you want one of these early game for some reason. But generally, you're meant to get these late games. So uh, I'm going to show you where to get them. The first one is I'm going to show you is at Dynasty Mausoleum. You're going to want to go to Dynasty Mausoleum Midpoint. It's after going through the cave and stuff. And uh, it's right nearby to this one. All right, so from this grace, we're going to head south up here. And there are all these guys worshiping this statue. And normally, you would kill them and then loot it. But it's literally just going to be right in front of them in this chest. I've already grabbed it from the chest, but that is where it would be if you want the first one. For the next somber ancient dragon smithing stone, you're going to want to go to the uh, Ferrum place, whatever it's crumbling Ferrum. 
You're gonna go to the Dragon Temple Rooftop Grace, assuming you have this already. If not, you'll have to get to this point in the game. You'll come into here, and you're gonna drop down to the east. Here, I'm just not... Oh yeah, it's an old bull to get. Bless. Guy right in front of the first steps in Limgrave. He will then go to the Church of the Rose, follow him to the Church of the Rose in Leonia and have a chat with him. Agree positively with everything he says every time, he'll give you three blooded fingers. You then use those blooded fingers to go do three invasions. Kill them, get ganked, disconnect, doesn't matter, three invasions. Go back to him, agree to fully join, and he will give you a cloth to go soak in maiden's blood. This is a problem because, again, you are maiden left. As he loves to keep reminding you, but fear not, we must go to the four belfries in Leonia, and using an imbued stone sword key, which you can get in a chest at the very top tower, then go and unlock and go through the portal at the second highest tower. This will take you back to the starting area of the game, run through it, beat the boss, eventually make it to the church at the end, lying there on the floor, very dead, but very full of usable blood, is uh, the maiden from the very start, no matter the game, and you wake up. Get the blood, go back to him, agree to fully join, he'll have a weird intimate moment with your hand and then give you a medallion which he warns us not to use we will then immediately use it and find ourselves in our destined location the Mogwin Palace Ooh, I hope that was somewhat followable so now that we're here, all that remains is to run to and grab the somber ancient dragon smithstone. It really is that easy and you can see why the computer is so incredibly early. That said, the run is incredibly hey! dangerous. From the very first race of this area, we're going to be able to see it. 